steps of my king. All right, everyone. Welcome to this explosive new episode of Idleman Unplugged. I have one of my favorite pastors on with me. He's actually my right hand man at Westside Christian Fellowship. Welcome, Pastor Abram Thomas. Good to have you on. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. All right. Next time we mention, we got to get another couple cameras in here. Then we could just have you That'd in here. That would be cool. That would be cool. And that would be, that would be a cool little setup. But something hit the news and, um, it's I, I I I'm tempted to play it on YouTube, but I don't know if our listeners will be able to hear it, uh, or they're following uh, Kanye. Pronounce that correctly, yes, sir. Did Kanye it West. They're following, um, you know, and that's why you've been following him for longer than I have. With you know his 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 rise and fall, and then uh, not being a Christian and then talking about God, and so I thought it'd be good to kind of unpack this because people are uh, Facebooking, Instagramming, and wanting our thoughts and. You know, you want to be careful because we don't know a person's heart. I mean, obviously, we can. Uh, we sh- I should say up front, we um, condone immediately the statement he made today we on uh, yeah, Alex we Jones' show. That. Yeah, you know that that there are some good things about Hitler. I mean, you just no. What he's trying to say is, you know, like those people say, there's good in all of us, but we, I from the from the bible I, I don't know about that because uh you know we are desperately wicked who can know the heart uh we are depraved uh no one is good no not one so i'm leery of saying everyone has goodness inside of them uh, i think what people are saying is you know we're all created you know we're creations of god mm-hmm. but then what we do with that is is up to us but anyway so let's unpack this for a minute um you saw and i'll just give my thoughts and you can chime in sounds good um, Kane in the world, no, no direction, uh, no, no pointing to God whatsoever. And then it seems to be, you know, I don't know, a couple of years ago, just this explosion or this passion for God. Um, and then that kind of, you know, it got interesting with Justin Bieber or some of his concerts and changing his name mm-hmm. and, um, some controversial statements about the Messiah, him, Messiah and mess, messianic type of, you know, so I, I, I I mean, the words he was saying was not very um, edifying. It wasn't very biblical. And then now, you know, with Kardashians and um, my, the reason I'm actually doing this and you're doing this. Um, oh, if you put the phone up a little bit, you'll come up back okay. center stage. You, you drop, it looks like you're dropping down a little. <laughs> okay, oh, there we go. Sorry. Perfect. Right there. I know it's hard. Um, but, you know, we just want, we, we're praying for him. We don't believe, I mean, I, I've never seen modern day Pharisees more than I have recently with people saying we shouldn't even pray for him. He's evil. I mean, you know, so anyway, fast forward to where we are now, obviously, you know, had to be, you know, institutionalized a little bit. The medication could have really been weighing on him. Uh, and what happened is he believes, you know, he's part of the, um, the black Hebrew roots movement. And a lot of people think it goes back to biblical times. It's actually the 1800s, late 1800s, where, because we don't know, I mean, from Abraham, Isaac, and J- Jacob, the Jewish people spread out okay. everywhere. So somebody could have Jewish DNA mm-hmm. in them. But to say we're the chosen, the black race is the chosen Jewish people, and that's where the anti-Semitic remarks come mm-hmm. from. Uh, and, and that really comes from a, a pride, a position of pride. It is racism. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's any people group, and there's racism yes, everywhere. Sir. We've talked about this before. You know, blacks are racist against some whites, whites are racist against some black, you know, it's, it's Mexicans, Hispanics, Japanese, Korean. And so now they feel that they're part of this, um, uh, you know, this, this, they're the true Israel. Mm-hmm. And so because they're the true Israel, they believe that Jews are, um, frauds and, and that's where the anti-Semitic and the, the anger comes from. That's why he's aligning with Nick Fuentes. Mm-hmm. And just some, I, I wish a pastor could be influencing him right now and just, you know, just, just speaking into his life. Um, and we, me and you have, you know, we love the Jewish community. Yes. My boss is actually a Jewish carpenter and your boss yes, too. He is. <laughs> so we, we just totally denounce that. And, and uh, I don't know where his heart's at, but you can see where people, when they don't stay really grounded in the word, there could be mental instability going on for sure. He's very high functioning, high IQ. And then if you if if you're not discipled, that's where you know you begin to take a shift. So anyway, I talked for four minutes. I didn't want no, to keep talking. Good. I want to get your thoughts on it. No, too. I I agree with pretty much everything that you just said. But 
my journey with um, you know following Kanye, it began when I was 18 years old when he came out with that his first Back CD, the uh, yep. which is one of the the classics of hip hop. You know, the uh, um, college dropout, and um, I can oh, tell yeah, you, like yeah. I, it was a soundtrack of, of my 18, 19, you know, my 20, my early 20s, and and of course he's a brilliant man. He's a man who yeah. uh, is artistically unlike you know anything we've ever seen. Um, but like you said, with that, with that brain, with that, with that skill set, you know, there comes a lot of pride. There comes a, a big ego yes. and, uh, he's been notorious for saying whatever comes to his mind. <laughs> he has a song faster. Yeah. You probably don't know it, but it, it says when he gets his money, right. Uh, that nobody's going to be able to tell him nothing. <laughs> and that and now a billionaire, a billionaire. so wow. now he's just well maybe not after yeah after the cancellation yeah. um but i i agree um some of the comments that he uh he made recently um i think like you said they're coming from that that point of view that you know the real jews the the are the real hebrews have african de- uh, descent and that uh, the current people who are claiming to be Jewish are, are imposters and they are uh, swindlers and they're they're running Hollywood and right. big tech companies. And, you know, they are the the ones who are calling the shots. And um, this is what he's, mm-hmm. you know, he's coming for. And um, he's personally, he says he's experienced how uh, how they have manipulated, in his view anyway, um, so many people and that the people that are in positions yeah. like he is in hip hop and in, in uh, Hollywood, they've been given these platforms. And if you mm. say anything wrong, if you speak against anything uh, other than what they want you to say, then they'll cancel you. True. And so um, true, true, true. there's an element of, I think there's an element of truth with some of the things that he's pointing out. Now, do I agree with oh, how, yeah. He's going about it. Absolutely not. Um, But like you said, what I do believe Kanye was genuine when he he professed Christ. I do believe that, you know, after coming out of his mental, you know, state of of being institutionalized and going through a lot, you know, with his position, I do believe he turned to Christ. I do. But like you said, he does not have anyone in his life who is discipling him. He doesn't have a strong right. leader in his life who can speak to him and, and uh, help him uh, navigate, you know, the the the, the mm-hmm. life that he is he's in. So, well, he said something mm-hmm. interesting too. Uh, I don't know, like a couple of weeks ago, that he feels that God is really breaking him and humbling him. And I was surprised, but as you know, that breaking process is not it's easy. Not. And I mean, I can't imagine you're a billionaire, no accountability. And, you, you know, with pride, you think more highly of yourself than you should. Mm-hmm. And then you've got this doctrine coming in that's not biblical oh. and it's puffing up the pride even more. And then the cancel culture is going out because I think here's what's interesting. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think what he said about the Jewish community was 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 his the, the, the words he used no. and the tone. I mean, it was just it was it no. wasn't good. But our, but we're at a point where we almost can't say anything or you'll be canceled or, you know, shot by those who don't like you, because I think you could say. Hey, a lot of Jewish people are in Hollywood. They're producers. They are directors. Uh, there's a lot of incredible minds have came from Jewish community, uh, from Einstein yeah. to countless others, Nobel Peace or Nobel yes. Prize yes. winners to arts. And so I, not racist, could say, hey, there's a lot of Jewish people involved in oh, Hollywood. Yeah. And I would say there's there's a lot of black people involved in yeah, basketball. Yeah. Because they excel. Mm-hmm. They're really good mm-hmm. at it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with saying those no. things, you know, but the council culture, they in- instantly, no matter if you just bring it up, you're racist. Yes. And, and sometimes you, it's almost like you can't even point out truth. Lots of basketball mm-hmm. players are black. Oh no, you're racist. No, I'm just, that's just that's, a fact. That's, that's a good thing, guys. Yeah. It's a good thing. A lot of Jewish investors and directors and producers in Hollywood, they, they own a lot of mm-hmm. Tinseltown. It's not a bad thing. It's it's true and can love love the Jewish people, yes. but we also can speak truth. And so I think what he does is he gets some information <laughs> that doesn't come out no. right. And then I believe it was his trainer that had him institutionalized yes. uh, some, some years ago. And then when you get on those types of medication, 
man, you should look at the uh, the um, adverse reactions uh, that, that happen. And then, uh, you know, is it is it long term? Is there is he still taking? See, we don't know. Is he still taking anything? Um, it, it's just a season of just, you know, just a, a breaking um, but just in a not in a great state right no, now at sir. all, for sure. And he's just an hour. He's just an hour south of yeah. us, as you know. I'm praying that somehow he it's just sad to see all this. He hears this, or somehow you know we're able yeah. to reach out to him, you know, because I truly think what's what's missing from his life, like you said, is just some some mentorship, someone who's going to speak to him yeah. and, and shoot him straight. He needs a strong personality to to do that. But um, you're right. We're yeah. living in a day where uh, with cancel culture and everybody's triggered, you can't really even point out the obvious anymore. Um, and it's yeah. it's really sad that we have allowed this this culture to this, you know, just to thrive, really. And um, it's True. it's just I never thought I'd live in, a you know, in America where I think no longer are we truly free to say what's on our mind, you know, because without right, without. Yeah you know, being canceled without the fear of, of being missing, misunderstood. And, and then you can lose a lot. Like we see with Kanye, he's lost a lot. Yeah. And he could lose a lot more. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty, I don't know. Let me see if I can play mm -hmm. it. Uh, I know you probably can't hear it on your side, but I'm going to try it here and just see if, just so people know what I'm talking about, give them some context mm -hmm. here. That's right. You're not Hitler. You're not a Nazi. You don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler also. The Jew I love everyone. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table. So I don't you probably didn't catch that, Pastor Abram, but he said, you know, everyone has something of value to bring to the table. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, I'm tired of classifications. And so see, you can say some of that it's right. You know, we we don't need to be classified and everyone's got something they bring in the table, worth in God, worth salvation. But with, with, with who Hitler was, what he represents, you know, using that in the same statement, um, I mean, Not just uh, is, is, yeah, we just, yeah, we can't even support no. that and uh, uh, condone, uh, no, we don't condone it whatsoever. No. Uh, but I am curious. So Kanye was one of your favorite rappers. Sure. And then he kind of, then the lyrics have been more wholesome. Since... Since he got saved, Last. yeah, he, he came out with a gospel okay. album, I think, in 2020, and then um, two albums, and then I think he released Donda uh, last year, and um, yeah, of course he's he's not he's not cursing anymore. He's he's talking about God. Wow. I mean, but I was a little um, leery. I don't I don't really listen to Donda because um, you know he had some artists that are clearly you know uh, aligned with the world, and, yeah. and you know so. Um, but yeah, he's, he's and changed. You know, yeah. And what we, what, and what we want to make sure people understand is we're not, um, we're not supporting what he's no. done. We're not saying, oh, he's a Christian. No. Um, you know, I have, I have doubts like all of you. I, I mean, we don't know, but I think we forget that there is a progression in oh, people. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and we, we, okay, let's say he, he let's say he did become a Christian couple years ago we ex expect them to act like john MacArthur in the <laughs> first year not you know and my first year or two was challenging yeah. i mean going back into the old lifestyle and then fighting and coming out and wrestling and prideful and angry and alcohol and then back and lord i want you right. and this, and it was just uh, it's just that breaking oh. process and so i think he's at a very um uh, interesting time right now where he needs the prayers of people and, and to people to just to, to be in prayer right. for him. Um, I'm hoping Eminem comes around, <laughs> That's your you know, he life. was, you know, I'm opening up a little bit. Yeah. Back in 1999, I was just coming back to the Lord and I think he just started mm -hmm. and um, you know, and so obviously don't listen to that no. anymore. And then I wish Metallica would become a Christian <laughs> and I wish on country yeah. music, uh, Evan Lu or Aaron mm. Lewis, so those are my three three people. I wish they would all come to, to Christ there. and sing some incredible lyrics. Metallica might be a lot softer mm, though. You know, they got they, saved. They to, no, no Pastor, he yeah. of course being arguably one of the most famous people in the world, he's for sure. Of course, yeah. he's going through this publicly. You know, he's going through a divorce. He's yep. going through, you know, just the the growing pains of I think someone who is uh who is 
who is yeah struggling, struggling you know mental yeah. things and just so much so you and i you know we were able to go through those processes in our lives you know privately Lively. there was in social media yep. you know when i was 18 and yeah i mean just thank, <laughs> thank god. god thank I would have god posted some things wow and it's permanent you know like these statements that he's making right now you know maybe five years down the line he's gonna just be like what was i thinking you know and Yes. But it's really sad yeah. that there's no grace. Like we live in a culture and I don't expect the world to show much grace because we know who's behind the world and the system. Yeah. But um, Christians is where I I really struggle. Like where is the, the yeah. grace for him, you know, or for anyone for that matter who are, who are coming along? It is a hard. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a hard balance because I, I agree with you, you know, grace and love, forgiveness, but then also, you know, challenging yeah. him when he makes statements like yeah, he did he needs to be uh, with Hitler. I mean, that's just not acceptable, no. you know? So it's that balance yeah. of, you know, grace and love and truth and, and discipline. Oh, no and, um, yeah, the whole, the whole thing there. So any closing thoughts or comments Let's on that? Let's just be praying for Kanye. <laughs> Let's just be asking okay. God to just, Bring some people into his life who are going to speak truth. Like you said, uh, faithful are the wounds of a friend. You know, sometimes yeah. you need to hear the hard truths, you know. And and here's why, you know, I don't think it was all fake initially either. Um, now, then you get into the whole, de- the whole, you know, topic. Can you lose your salvation? Was he really saved to begin mm-hmm. with? Calvinism. I mean, I won't even go there. But let's say it was a genuine conversion. The reason I uh, I wonder about what really happened too is because someone like him wouldn't just shift if it wasn't something going on in his heart. You're not going to, you're going to, you're going to support Trump. Mm. You're going to start calling out Hollywood and the abortion Mm. industry. I mean, something in, in something's shifting in your heart. And I don't think people realized, you know, when let's say that the Trump issue comes Mm up, you know, they weren't looking at the man and his character and his tweets. They were looking at the spiritual direction of our nation. Yeah. Where is that going? I think uh, Kanye started to realize, you know, hey, where this, mm-hmm. where is this going? Even his ex-wife just uh, denounced that god awful perverted company, Balenciaga, Balenciaga or Balenciaga. something. Yeah. I mean, what? Think about that. I, I'm like, if you look at the founders. Twitter page and she's holding babies in blood, you know, fake babies demonic. and they've got mannequins. It's just like so demonic. And so, I mean, I throw up now it's, almost, I mean, I throw up at what is going on in our, in our, in our nation. So, um, yeah, let's just be in prayer for him. Maybe those who are listening, can you imagine if the thousands who are going to watch this or hear it later, if we would just simply pray, Lord, just, um, quicken yeah. him, uh, or even your own prodigal son or daughter for those listening. It's not all about, about him it's about um you know all the prodigal sons and daughters you know as well so anyway if you guys can follow if you want to follow pastor abram thomas it's at westsidechristianfellowship.org westsidechristianfellowship.org you can just check out wednesday's message he just preached sunday he fills in uh for me uh every time i'm gone we're so blessed to have him Uh, and let me just end real quick too with that prayer lord we do pray uh, for kanye and i pray that god you would show him the, the road to humility, the road to brokenness, the road to repentance and to come clean and just, and just to cut off these destructive influences that are taking him down the, the wrong path. And we ask Lord that you would do that quickly and decisively in Jesus name. Amen.